Hello students, uh, this is the second video on dividend decision. Already I made video on Walter's model wherein I have explained the concept of Walter model, assumptions, criticism as well as the most significant is solved problems. I have explained on growth constant and declining firm event. Please do watch that video before watching this video to understand better. I will share the link of that video in the i button top right corner of this video as well as in the description and pin comment event. But in this video I will cover Gordon's model along with the concept and assumptions I will cover the most significant that is solved problems even. This question I have given in the first video in the Walters model wherein I gave this as a exercise problem. I hope you have done this problem. You can cross check your answer with this answer. So here also the three types of situation one is growth constant and declining form is given. I have solved the problem. I have clearly kept the answers. You can easily cross check the answers. So we will proceed further with the Gordon's model. Myron Gordon is also one of the most significant authors along with Walter who has suggested that the dividend policy is relevant with regards to value of the firm. In the sense, the these people have suggested relevance approach. Gordon is also suggested the relevance approach states that the dividend decision will have an impact on the value of the firm. Value of the firm in the sense, the price of the share will increases or decreases based on the dividend decisions of the company. So he had the following assumption before uh, proceeding with the formula and problems. The assumptions are the firm is an all equity firm in the sense there is no other source of finance only equity source of finance will exist. The firm has no external finance in the sense the firm will not raise any further capital instead the retained earnings will be used as capital. Cost of capital and return are constant which is not practically possible but he suggests that the cost of capital and rate of return will remain constant. The firm has perpetual life. In the sense, perpetual life in the sense, the firm will not be closed in down the line future. It will continue in a foreseeable future. So this is one of the features of the company that it will have for perpetual life. There are no taxes, which is practically not possible. Taxes will be levied by the government. But as per his assumption, there are no taxes. Constant relation ratio. G is equals to BR. Growth is equals to retention ratio into rate of returns. That is called as G according to this author. Cost of capital is greater than growth rate. So this is one of the uh, concept that the cost of capital is greater than BR. BR in the sense growth rate. So we will understand Gordon model based on these assumptions. Now how to calculate the market value of share or market value of firm or equity according to Gordon's model. The formula P is equals to E into 1 minus B divided by KE minus BR where P is equals to market price of share, E is equals to earning per share, B is equals to retention ratio. That is how we will get retention ratio 1 minus dividend payout ratio. Suppose your dividend payout ratio is 20%. What will be the retention ratio? 80%. Then KE cost of equity BR growth rate in R. Then rate of return on investment of all equity firms. Only equity firms. That assumption we have already understood. So this is the precise formula to calculate the market value of share under Gordon's model. So let's start the further explanation of the concept with the help of the example of a problem. If you see this question following is the information of ABC limited the rate of return on investment R is equals to situation 1 15% 12% and 10% whereas cost of capital is 12%. Again the same way we have to calculate in three situation that is a growth normal that is constant and declining firm. EPS is equals to 10 rupees. Determine the value of its share using Gordon's model assuming that the following situation A dividend payout ratio is 100% then retention would be zero. Obviously, when you pay total amount as dividend, retention would become zero. Then B situation, 80% dividend payout ratio, 20% is the retention ratio. 40 is the dividend payout ratio, 60 is the retention ratio. With the help of this question, we have to calculate the value of share or value of firm according to Gordon's model. Now we will solve this question. The formula is P is equals to E into 1 minus B by KE minus BR. 
So based on this formula of Gordon's model, we will solve this problem. So first we'll take up the situation one that is R is equals to 15. That is rate of return is equals to 15. So under that a bit dividend payout ratio is 100%. Then apply the formula P is equals to EPS is 10 rupees into 1 minus 0. 0 is B. In the sense when your total amount is paid as dividend, the retention will be 0. Divided by KE already you are aware that is 0.12 that is 12% minus BR. B is 0, R is 0 0.15. When you simplify this equation, you will get 83.33. Then B bit, when dividend payout ratio is 80%, B is equals to 20%. In the sense what, just simple calculation, dividend payout ratio is 80% in the sense retention would be 20%. That is the logic here. P is equals to 10 rupees, that is EPS into 1 minus 0 0.2. 0 0.2 here is retention ratio, that is represented as B here. Divided by 0 0.12 is the cost of equity that is cost of capital minus 0 0.2 into 0 0.15 that is BR we will get 88.89 next when dividend payout ratio is 40 percent retention would be 60 percent on the basis of this the value of equity share that is P is equals to 133.33 so like this we have to calculate under first situation where R is equals to 15 percent the next is R is equals to 12 percent under that the first situation is when dividend payout ratio is 100%, the value of the firm is, value of the share is 83.33. And second situation, P is equals to 83.33. Third situation, 83.33. And in the third situation where R is equals to 10%, P is equals to 83.33, P is equals to 80. Second situation where dividend payout ratio is 80%, first situation is 100%. And P is equals to 66.67. So what is happening, what you can understand here, in all these situations, the first situation where R is equals to 15% which is greater than K. R is greater than K that is growth firm, constant firm and declining firm. R is, is equals to K that is constant firm. R is uh, K is greater than R that will be a declining firm. So if you see the growth firm, what is happening when your dividend payout ratio is more, the value of the share is less. You can earn more money by retaining the amount in the business instead of withdrawing in the form of dividend. So in the first situation, when dividend payout ratio was 100%, it was 83. When dividend payout ratio decreased to 80, it has rose to 88.89. Further decreased to 40%, it has rose to 133.33. In the sense, this argument suggests that invest more money in the business instead of withdrawing from the business. Constant firm, here R is equals to K, it is immaterial. Whether you withdraw, you read or you retain, the value of the firm will remain same. That is 83.33 answer we got in all the three situations. Whereas in case of declining firm, K is greater than R. What will happen here? The argument says that instead of keeping the money in the business, since the R is less than K, instead of keeping the money in the business, withdraw the money from the business so that you can utilize that business money in some other projects. So where the, if the dividend payout ratio is 100%, 83.33 is the answer. If the dividend payout ratio is declining, the answer is also decreasing. When dividend payout ratio was 80%, it is 80 rupees. 60%, sorry, 40%, it is further decreased to 66.67. So like this, the answer can be calculated and analyzed by the students you can easily analyze and understand the concept right i hope i have given you clear crystal picture of this gordon's model you can easily understand the concept right so thank you very much please do support me subscribe my channel mentor the trusted guide and motivate me to make more qualitative videos right I wish you all the best. Thanks for watching the video. Subscription is mandatory for you people. Please do support my channel and you can use thanks button as well as you can subscribe my channel. You can like, share my content and motivate me to make more qualitative informative videos. Thank you very much.